We are in the middle of the Ecuadorian jungle amidst all the tarantulas and the toucans. I'm seeing a toucan already. We arrive in Mindo from Quito after just making it on time for the bus. And here is where we are going to spend four days. It is 5.15 in the morning. We are on our way to a bird trail. It's incredibly early, but birds get up early and that's why we are early. <laughs> There's absolutely no one out except for a bunch of roosters and stray dogs. Just like a little scared. Ooh. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So these bird trails are on private property. It's extremely early. I didn't know if it'd be open. Oh my god. And there's two German police in this uh, cage and I thought they were out and they were coming for us. <laughs> a woman is coming down now to let us through so we can hike. She gave us a map and a good look. Not too confident in our ability to really spot birds. There's a really nice lookout over the entire valley of Mindo. We would always go on these nature walks in Florida and yeah. that's where we would spot like these different types of Woodpeckers, um, that's all, all that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we got into birding a tad bit. So she gave us a map and this is actually the first time I'm really looking at it. And it seems like there are five trails and each trail has like a thing to see. So we're gonna go to trail three cause that's where you have the lookout and two cans. I'm dying to see some monkeys. I'm dying to see two cans. Very uh, overgrown. <laughs> I'm seeing a toucan. Alrighty! Do you see it? I do see it. How cool! So like five minutes after we talk about the map and the two cans, let me show you what we're seeing. <laughs> Good start of the trail. Honestly, my morning has been already made. I really did not think we were going to see any birds. And now I saw my first two can. Mindo is a cloud forest, a hilly area with the most green you'll ever see. 20% of all bird species live here, alongside with monkeys and lots of butterflies. There is always something grounding and peaceful about being in nature, especially when you hear so much life in a forest. Oh, I just walked through a spider web. Great. Ew. Oh, we're doing this trail with teamwork. <laughs> I clear out the spider webs with my face. Yeah. And then Nikki, she spots the birds. But it's just fun to be out here in the jungle with the snakes and spiders and random toucan. <laughs> wow. Bird watching is harder than I thought. It's a lot of uphill walking and elevation, using all your neck muscles to look up, and barely see any birds. It's so dense, like, I have no idea where to look. Oh well. We will get eaten up by mosquitoes. Hey, the damage is already done. We decided we're gonna conquer another trail with really large trees and Cock of the Rock, which is a red bird here in Ecuador that people always want to see. How that we're going to see it, but who knows? I'm going to be in the lookout while Denny is chill blazing. Are those two cans? I have no idea. Something's going on in the trees, but we can't really see it. Are those birds? Look like a bird. You going to go in and check? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm in that one movie with uh, Kevin Hart. What's a Jumanji? Yeah, we're gonna get attacked at any moment. Ooh. All right, so we only saw one bird. Then we're gonna go down and have some coffee because I'm yet to have have that today, and I'm addicted to it. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I need. So we are now heading into the town of Mindo, which is basically one street, right? This is Mindo Town. As you can see, there's not much going on. That's what we saw. That's what we saw. That was supposed to be like a very smooth, Did like cool shot, it. and I spilled milk. We are now having coffee and carrot cake 
to end our bird watching morning. And then we're gonna go back to our hosteria where we're staying and give you a little tour. Do the thing that we're the best at, which is relaxing. Welcome to our crib. This is what you get for 28 bucks. This is our patio area. And look out over Mindo. And we're immediately starting where the magic happens. Ta da! We have dots, indigenous paintings. But you get two beautiful windows to really uh, enjoy the outside. You have uh, lots of free mosquitoes as well. It's right next to the creek, which means lots there's a lot of mosquitoes. mosquitoes. And that patio we showed you, it's its ours, but it's everybody else's too. <laughs> and we got a private bathroom. It's uh, nothing special. Yeah, because the only house we stayed in was in Albania, the guest house. It was the first time sharing a bathroom and it's not our thing. <laughs> so for $28, a private bathroom and a half private patio, it's pretty good. But it's actually a really big compound, so let's, let's go check see it out. what else is out there. Look at all the hummingbirds that are flying here. There's water, there's fish, there's kids playing in the river sometimes. It's super awesome. And they have lots of fruit trees like bananas, but then you also have papaya. You also have cacao trees. And they have more fruit trees in the back where you have a whole hiking area. And now we're gonna lounge in our halfway private patio. Ready to go to breakfast? Yeah. That's good. It's a beautiful morning. You see all the clouds covering the forest. But we're now going to have breakfast with supposedly lots of hummingbirds. This is such a beautiful breakfast spot. The views are amazing and there are hummingbird feeders right in front of us. We're starting our hike too late because we kept eating and looking at the hummingbirds, but now we're trying to find a cab to the hiking area. We're trying to bargain it down because they overcharge tourists here. Really don't like to bargain. But I'm the Spanish speaking one in our relationship, so it's all me. <laughs> yeah. Plus, if they see me, they immediately try to get the gringo price. Yeah. And once again, I could not bargain. We got the cat for six. We know that people get the cat for four or just two bucks, I know, but I guess it's normal to bargain here in the culture, so we want to do that too. We are on our way to an ecological reserve where there are several waterfall hikes. The way to the trailheads is pretty unique. It's kind of scary. <laughs> as we ride a cable car that is powered by an old Nissan motor across the thick cloud forest. So now we're going to see Cascada Raina. It's gonna take us about an hour. I hope we're gonna see some toucans and monkeys. Let's go. So we've been in Mendo for about two days. And for me, this place makes me want to just relax, whether that's lay in a hammock, drink coffee and watch birds, or just do a light hike through the forest. This is a place where you want to just come and chill. And I'm making all the pictures. <laughs> Use this moment to say, check out our Instagram. Only saying that. There's some type of animal that makes like a growling sound here. Yeah. And we, and we heard it yesterday. yesterday. And now we're hearing it again. And we hear it in like those dark crevices. minute hike we were rewarded with having this amazing waterfall all to ourselves so there's no one here we get to enjoy it 
We love waterfall hikes. It's beautiful. The hike itself is really pretty as well. Ecuador keeps surprising us. The nature is beautiful. Isn't it, babe? It's amazing. <laughs> totally worth it. Okay. It's a perfect way to end our stay here in Mindo. And to end the vlog, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ooh. It's a bee? Thank you. <laughs> Are you making fun of bilingual people? Hey, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just pointing out a funny moment. I can't speak them. You only speak one language. And... <laughs> You're so tired. Let me just recreate what we did for an hour yes yesterday. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> as soon as I hear... Yee! I am awake. <laughs> Can you do that again? Danny has to be awake. It has to die. What does a mosquito sound like again? <laughs> crows are cr crows. Crows. What do they do? Roosters? Cackle? So what are we looking out for? Toucans. And what sound do they make? Well, the lady said they make like a... Ah! <laughs> and then you know that they're here. Are you filming? Where? <laughs> <laughs> are you? This, this is, is Ecuador! Ecuador.